Hello there guys and today I am doing my Doctor Who DVD collection The William Hartnell Years Now this is a prelude The William Hartnell Years are from the years 1963 to 1966 Now I have here 8 William Hartnell DVDs I haven't completed the rest of the William Hartnell stories that are available in the BBC archives um, so in the next video they will be here down below so goodbye and take care watch out for the next video I will be doing Hello there guys as you can see I am doing my Doctor Who DVD collection The William Hartnell Years and the first story that I have here is An Unearthly Child Now I particularly like part 1 because it is eerie, mysterious and we get to find out who the Doctor is, in a way. Although if you watch the show in the later years, you get to find out a whole lot more. Although there is still a lot less to be told. Now I particularly like part one because it sets up the show in a really good way. It says here, the first ever story of the world's longest running science fiction series come to DVD for the first time. Now this was out in 2006. Uh, it's packed full of special features. Um, for part one I would give this story 10 out of 10. But for the other three I would probably give it maybe a 6 out of 5, 7 out of 10. So there we go, an unearthly child. Um, now I'm moving on to the first ever story featuring the first ever monster that we ever had. Although Sid and Newman wanted no BEMs, which stand for Bug Eye Monsters, and that is the Daleks, the Seven Parter. Now it says here the Doctor is about to have his first meeting with the Daleks. This is a Seven Parter. Um, I particularly like the Dead Planet because. In the first episode, the Doctor is in the TARDIS, um, and one of the particular scenes from the Dead Planet, which is the first episode of the Daleks, was used in the 50th anniversary for archive footage, so that was quite good. Um, I particularly like this, although I think later Dalek stories were much better. Um, I will be reviewing those quite short, hopefully soon. Um, for this story, I would give this story uh, an 8 out of 10, although it's not the best Dalek story Doctor Who has ever had. Now, we move on to what is called a two-parter, but it uses a bubble episode, I believe it's called. Um, it's a two-parter, and it's the Edge of Destruction. Now, I particularly like part one because of the way it is directed by director Richard Martin. Yep, I like the first part because of Richard Martin. Although, Frank Cox maybe did it in a slightly different style from Richard Martin. Um, I particularly like this because it uses the TARDIS set, someone that come into the TARDIS, blah blah blah. Um, for this bottle episode, that's the name of it, um, I would give this an 8 out of 10 for the two parts. Now, unfortunately, one of the stories, the next preceding story called Marco Polo, is missing from the BBC archives. Un unless, uh, unless you can able to get it on audio CD. Now we're moving on to the fifth story, which is called The Key to Mariners. It's my favourite William Hartnell story. Now we've got the monster called The Word. Yep. And it's a series of six stories, but set in that one umbrella title. Um, it's particularly good, I like it. Different stories. Um, it's obviously written by the Dalek creator, Terry Nation. Um, particularly like it, yeah, it's quite good. 10 out of 10, I would say, because it's my favourite story, The Keys of Marinus. Uh, it's packed full of special features. Raymond Tuzik designed this story, quite good. Uh, it's also got, it's obviously in black and white. 10 out of 10 for that story, it's my favourite. 
Now we move on to another historical story. Marco Polo is a historical story. We move on to the second one, which is the Attic. This is in a special edition because I got the recently recovered Galaxy 3, Episode 3, Galaxy 4, sorry, I beg your pardon. Episode 3, Airlock, which is included in the second disc. Now this story has Barbara, played by Jacqueline Hill. Now she is apparently the priest of Yataxa because she is wearing a bracelet that Yataxa wore. And we have there on the front cover John Ringham who played Tatoxlo and William Hartnell, the first doctor. Now I particularly like this because the doctor meets a woman in the Garden of Peace in the story and yeah they have the good chemistry both of them there it's obviously packed for a special feature now i haven't got the original dvd release which was released in 2003 i've got the special edition which was released last year yeah i would say it's a good story now episode three unfortunately of galaxy 4 uh, unfortunately um i can't really give my own opinion on it because the other four missing, the other three missing episodes, sorry, are missing from the BBC archives. So, and it's only done by reconstruction. So, yeah, I would say I would give a story, uh, the Ad Tech, uh, a 9 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10, 8.5, I would say 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's quite a good story. Now, we move on to the first serial of the second season of Doctor Who and that is Planet of Giants. Now episode 4 of Planet of Giants, it was originally 4 episodes. Um, episode 4 was condensed down to 3 to make it a factor, faster peak climax. Um, I particularly like this. Um, the first two episodes were directed by Mervyn Pinfield and the last one was condensed down from episode 3 and the original episode 4 to make the new episode 3. Now episode 3 and 4 you can watch on the disc with Reconstructions by Ian Levine. Episode 3 was credited to Douglas Campfield. Yeah, it's quite a good story. You've got a miniature Big Ant there, a miniature Tardis, a miniature Doctor Susan, Ian and Barbara. Yeah, it's actually quite a good story. The episode 3 makes it a good climax. Um, for episode 1 to 3, I would give it maybe a 7.5 out of 10. It's an alright story. Now, I have recently bought a DVD and it is called The Time Meddler. It has Peter Buckworth as the Time Meddler. The Meddling Monk, I beg, I beg your pardon. Um, I haven't really watched this, so I can't really give an opinion. Although, in episode 4, called Checkmate, there is... 12 seconds of footage missing and on the DVD if I can find it it is called The Lost 12 Seconds a small part of episode 4 is still missing in this short item you need an off-air audio recording and the original script, script to place the missing 12 seconds in context mm. although I have seen it through Daily Motion and YouTube it's actually quite good um, although I hope the missing 12 seconds is found at some point um, I can't really comment, so it looks okay. Now, I have another story here that I can't really comment on, although I have seen bits of episode 1 to 3, um, and it's a temp planet. Obviously, it's memorable because it got the first appearance of the Cybermen and the first of our regeneration. It is directed by the late, great Derek Martinus. Mm -hmm. And... I can't really comment yet again because I haven't really seen it. And that concludes the William Hartnell years.